I underline, conscripted soldiers are not and will not be involved in combat operations, nor will there be additional mobilization of reserves. The set goals will be achieved only by professional soldiers. I am confident that they will reliably ensure security and peace for the Russian people. Let's bring in uh, the Pentagon senior strategist, Robert McGinnis, who joins us now from uh, Virginia, Woodbridge, Virginia. Uh, Colonel, always good to have you on the show. Uh, good to see you. Okay, so Putin basically saying that the objectives, uh, the, the set goals would only be achieved by professional soldiers. What do you make of that statement? Well, his best west of Moscow have not been moved down to Ukraine. He's not deployed the Spetsnaz, which of course, would be a very effective inside cities. And so if this is the best that he has, and the civilian militia and the Ukrainian forces are taking so many casualties from Russians, uh, then he is in trouble. Now, I suspect in that statement that he's trying to address domestic problems. He's not going to call up the reserves, which would upset the domestic audience. And also, conscripts, of course, you know, they're not highly trained. And so he's trying to excuse, uh, perhaps, uh, that, you know, this isn't going to happen. No, if he's relying upon all professional soldiers, and this is the best the Russians have, uh, then that's not very comforting from his perspective. Um, do you think that this would include uh, paramilitary forces, or the fact that the Pentagon believes that uh, Russia has been trying to recruit uh, Syrians uh, to fight in Ukraine. Yeah, I, I saw that. I, I know that we have, you know, Wagner Group uh, that is, you know, trying to do an assassination against uh, Zelensky, a Chechen group trying to do much the same. Uh, the recruiting that I see uh, in some of the reports outside of Damascus is very interesting because they're not asking for, you know, people with particular skill sets. You know, during the middle of the Syrian civil war, uh, the Damascus, Damascus, you know, prime, you know, professionals were not doing well in cities, and yet uh, this is really the challenge that's ahead for Mr. Putin and his army. And that is, if they go into a big city like uh, Kiev, uh, they need a lot more forces that can operate at the squad and platoon level that understand uh, operations in a build-up area below and above the ground. Very complex. Uh, I know the U.S. military, when we were fighting in places like Fallujah, Ramadi, even in places in Baghdad and Mosul, you know, it was an incredibly tough battle. You need very experienced people. So, you know, if they're thinking they're going to recruit Syrians to go in there, I think they have something to learn. Since you mentioned Kiev, let me ask you, I mean, what, what exactly is happening uh, around Kiev? Because uh, it seems the Russians uh, have stalled. I mean, because on the flip side, they have managed to make some significant headway in, in other cities like Kharkiv and, 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 and Mariupol, and as well as capturing uh, the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. And what do you think is going on in, in the capital? I know you said it was very difficult with large cities. Yeah, it is. Uh, in the South, they used Marines, and they were, of course, very close to the, to the Black Sea. Uh, Kharkiv is very close to the Russian border. Uh, Kiev's in the center of the country. Now, it's, what, 80 kilometers, 90 kilometers south of Belarus. Uh, but it's, it's really a large city. Millions of people, you know, until this evacuation, live there. And it, it an incredible place. I've been in Kiev. Uh, I understand the complexity of the uh, above and below ground uh, infrastructure. Uh, unless you have a very large, very large ground force that's very professional, uh, you're going to get eaten up when you go in there uh, by, you know, people with uh, AK-47s that can, you know, stand behind a corner and shoot up an entire squad. Uh, I don't think the Russians, quite frankly, are prepared for what they're about to enter if, in fact, they go into Kiev. And I don't know that uh, Putin at this point, given you know, how the battle is stalled off and on, uh, that he really wants to do that. Okay. We'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. Robert McGinnis, live for us uh, from Virginia. Thank you.